This video is for topic 5.9, steady state approximation. The objective for this topic is to identify the rate law for a reaction from a mechanism in which the first step is not rate limiting. So there are a couple of terms that we need to define before we look at a reaction mechanism. The first is an intermediate. And an intermediate is a species that is produced in an elementary reaction um, and then consumed in another elementary reaction. An intermediate never shows up in an overall reaction. Equilibrium is when the rate of the forward reaction equals the rate of the reverse reaction. And this is where we get to a steady state. This means that the concentration of a reaction intermediate is constant. Um, when we look at an equation that is considered in equilibrium, instead of a single direction arrow moving from reactants to products, we're going to have a two direction arrow. So we're going to see an arrow move from reactants to products, and we're going to see an arrow move from products back to reactants. So that's what tells us that something is in um, equilibrium. And so that means the rate of the appearance of our products is equal to the rate of the disappearance of our reactants. So here's our example mechanism. So in this case, our first elementary reaction is 2A um, forming I, which is our intermediate. So if you notice our overall reaction, it's 2A plus B produces C. So the first step is 2A um, in equilibrium with an intermediate I. And then the second step is where I reacts with B to form C. So I never shows up. Um, it's produced in our first step and then consumed in our second step, which means we end up with our overall reaction 2A plus B producing C. Now, our slow step still determines the rate of our reaction, but we can't have an intermediate in our um, rate law because the intermediate itself doesn't determine the rate of the reaction. So normally we would write the um, rate law based on the slow step, which would be K equals the concentration of I times the concentration of B. It's still an elementary reaction, so we can still use the coefficients as the powers for the different concentrations. Since we can't include I, our intermediate, in a rate law, we're going to look at our equilibrium step. Our equilibrium step says that the rate that A disappears, which would be the concentration of A squared, is the same as the rate that I appears. So this means that we can substitute a squared in for i, because the rate of i is the rate of a squared disappearing. So when we make that substitution, we end up with an overall rate law of rate equals k times a squared times b. So anytime we have a reaction mechanism where the slow step is not the first step, um, we're going to start using the slow. We're going to start with using the slow step to write our rate law but then we need to use our equilibrium step to substitute for any intermediates because we cannot include intermediates in our overall rate law. So your rate law at the end still needs to only include um, your reactants in your overall equation, but you can figure out how to substitute for your intermediate based on the equilibrium step.